it's happening. They have given Amber Day two steps he needs to take if he still wants to return to power and do second tenor, which is only a titled show left in Lagos State. Remember Amber Day was the governor just before Babaji, just before Babaji De Sanwolu and um, Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu, apparently the political godfather in the state, felt it was need to change him since he has not met with the terms and conditions um, in quotes and unquote with the supposed you know uh, description so he has to go this has you know gone on to affect um you know Ambody being renominated in the party primaries uh, where he was supposed to be given the first refusal right but rather they went into a vote and um, nobody voted him or if they did less than what was required for him to get the po the possibility was rejected and at the end of the day you know he had to resort to um you know him being taken out and our very own brother san wolu got to the position but recently he's been told that somebody you know uh pdp has you know sent a message to him asking him if he would like to come he can become like obaseki let's get all the details in the last 24 hours, former governor of Lagos State, Akin Wumi Ambode, has been trending on major news platform and striking headlines that tell us towards 2023 election in Lagos. The former Lagos governor, whose political journey was cut short following his failure to win APC primaries in the state, reportedly addressed some youth recently, where he advised them to get their PVC ahead of the general 2023 elections. The statement since has made, the statement since has been widely analyzed, diagnosed, and, and political synergies and political analysts who believe that the former governor might be attempting to warm his way back to reckoning ahead of, 20, ahead of the 2023 governorship election in the state. In all sense of modesty, Ambody's statement is normal and not unexpected, especially in time like this. Political discourse appears to have taken over the front burners of discourse across the country. This, therefore, does not indicate that he is running for the election. However, as a former governor who did only one tenor, he is totally, completely entitled to run a second one, but was abruptly denied a second chance by powers that be. Ambode has ever every right to throw his heart in into the popular once again election contest that will be taking place for governors in Lagos. If he does this, this would definitely mean that the he cannot do this under the same party or the best option would be for him to move to the People Democratic Party who has told him he's welcome and he stands a chance of getting their governorship election. For him to achieve this dream, if he truly is interested, there are two things he must do. First thing is for the former governor to formally move to the People Democratic Party, which is the major, op major opposition party in Lagos as of today. In 2018, it was rumored that Ambode, who is a sitting governor as at the time, wanted to decamp to the People's Democratic Party following the obvious face-off between himself and his political godfather at the time, Tinubu, who would deny him the ticket. However, due to impeachment threats mounted on him, he was said to have dropped the plan. In other words, the former governor was cornered in between the two, in between the two blue seas. This time, he is not a sitting governor and is free to choose any political party and platform under which he must contest this election. With the fractionization and polarization in APC in, in, the, in Lagos State, Ambody can still use his influence to plunge the ruling party by joining APC. The only person he has to contend in that matter will be the Lagos for Lagos movement, Ola Jide. Adeniro, who has also moved a few weeks back into the all the all the People Democratic Party. If Ambode could scale through and join the People Democratic Party, happy days ahead of him. So this is what he has to do. There are two things. One, he has to move to the People Democratic Party. Two, he has to beat uh, 
Lagos from Lagos who has already joined, you know, uh, the joined People Democratic Party under which primaries will first of all be conducted. So this is what is happening right now. Very old brother Ambode has been told to make hail while the sun shine if he wants to become Lagos State Governor because um, this is what is happening right now. And here, as we see, as um, this is, you know, the potentiality for him to become the governor of Lagos State if he wants to become the governor. He cannot, I mean, we know first of all that um, in PDP, uh, our very own brother Tinubu is against him already. So that being that point being established, it makes it far cry for him to be able to get such a position. And um, the best thing for him to do now is to either move, yeah, move to the People's Democratic Party just like Obaseki did, yeah, he could do that move. And uh, Tinubu has nothing to say to him. Then he could, you know, go ahead, prepare himself. And the only person he's got to deal with then will be, you know, uh, Olajide, the Lagos for Lagos uh, young man who just joined, you know, the, the party. And then uh, was promised by People Democratic Party that they stand a chance of getting their presidential ticket. So if that happened, that they have two uh, possibility, two potential candidates, everybody will have to do something worthwhile, which will be there will be a primary election conducted. And at the end of the primary, who the cap fits, let him wear it, like Bob Marley sang. So who wears the cap will be the one to go on and represent the People's Democratic Party in Lagos as the candidate bearing the flag. So that's where it is at the moment. Remember, in Lagos State, it's not just um, Lagos for Lagos. There are other persons who feel very strongly that Tinubu's days, you know, controlling the political atmosphere should be gradually winding down and coming to an end. So these are things that are happening, and everybody can see, we can all see for ourselves, that um, it's, it's no longer just business as usual. Things are beginning to take shape, and um, it is becoming real every single minute, every single second. We'll keep you informed as the matter unfolds. Remember, we are all in this together. We cannot keep quiet and allow those who continue to plunge us to carry on the wicked atrocities. The time to act is now. Make hail while the sun shine is an advice. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.